Hello, uh, this video we're going to do a, a how to draw the stepladder in on shape. Uh, there should be a few videos that make up this series. This video is the first one. So we're going to create a document and um, we'll call it stepladder or SL I'm going to put for short. And click OK. Wait for things to open. So first thing you want to do is start a sketch. So I'm going to start on the front plane. So I'll click sketch, click the front plane. It's selected. I'm actually going to need to turn off all the planes by clicking that eyeball now. Just cleans up the view, makes it look a bit better. And I pressed N on the keyboard. That brings me, so I'm looking at it front on. I could have clicked front on the view cube too. Anyway, we're going to start with drawing a line. This line needs to be horizontal. When the line's horizontal, you get that little icon uh, down there that shows that it's a horizontal line. So make sure you get that before you click again. Then we'll move up at an angle. Click again. Again, we want this line to be horizontal, so make sure you get the icon before you click. And lastly, we'll finish down here. Click. We need to make our two long edges parallel, so look for the parallel tool up in the toolbar. You may have to look under a down arrow and simply select the tool, click one edge, click the other edge. It'll make the two lines parallel. We need to set some sizes now. So the dimension tool up in the toolbar, click once on the long edge, click again on the other long edge, then place the dimension up here somewhere. And we're going to make this 65 and press enter. I'm going to have to zoom back. Uh, we need to do a measurement from point to point. So we simply click on the first point, click on the second point, and make sure that that dimension comes off parallel to that edge. It shouldn't be going down, it shouldn't be going across. So you just have to move your mouse until it's sitting in the right place and click and we'll make it 915. Press enter. Last thing we want to do with the dimension tool is set an angle from here to here. Now the angle that we cut our step ladder is 17 degrees. So we click those two uh, edges and it's that angle there is not 17 but it's 90 plus 17. So we can type that, we can put that uh, maths problem in there and it will calculate for us or if you could do it in your head you could have just written 107 degrees uh, tick to complete that sketch i'm going to go back to the 3d view if you right click and go to isometric it'll bring us back to a nice 3d view uh, and extrude extrude this shape so you click in the middle of your shape and we're going to set the depth to 18 and press enter. That's all we need to do there. So tick. There's one of our legs. Uh, we just need to put some housing joints in it. So to do that, we're going to start another sketch, sketch tool. This time you click on the surface that of the object that you just created and click. And we want to view that front on. So I'm going to press N on the keyboard and view it front on. And we're just going to draw a series of straight lines. So we go to the line tool up in the toolbar. Uh, and notice when you hover over the edges, they highlight. So when it highlights, that's when you click to start. When it highlights, you click to finish. But we do need to make sure we get that horizontal icon. And in fact, I want you to double click to finish and do the same again. Click once to start, horizontal, double click. Another one's further down, click once, horizontal, double click, click once, horizontal, double click. Uh, be careful of the midpoint, don't attach one of your lines to the midpoint, so just avoid that. And don't worry too much about spacing or sizes yet, we'll fix all that up later. Uh, click once, horizontal, double click, and same again. Make sure they're all horizontal. Double click, perfect. Uh, dimension tool again. So each of these 
uh, are going to be housing joints and they need to be 18. So you click on one edge, click on the other, move across, click again and type 18, press enter. Let's do the, the same for all these. That will adjust all those for us. Uh, we need to do a dimension from the bottom up to each step. So we go point to point again. So click once on the point, click once on the bottom point under that first step. Make sure the dimension comes off parallel like that, not like that, like that, and click. This is 210. The next dimension goes from the bottom to the bottom. So we go from point to point point to point make sure it gets it coming off parallel and this one's 235 and the last one is also 235 bottom point to bottom point and 235 as well we can close that sketch by ticking we'll go back to our 3d view we're going to extrude now they're a little bit hard to see, but those new rectangles that you draw, they're what we're going to select. So one, two, three. If you select the wrong thing, click the wrong thing again and it should go away. Uh, we need to remove material, so make sure we set our dialog over here to a remove. And the depth is six. Uh, zoom in, have a look, make sure it looks right. If it's not working, it could be that you need to change directions. If yours looks like that, click this little arrow so it goes the correct direction. And tick to close that extrusion. All right, we need to draw another leg. Uh, we actually don't have to go through all that again because we can simply mirror it. And basically we need to put the mirror in place in the form of a plane. So we're gonna look for the plane tool up there in the top toolbar. I want you to zoom in and select that internal face there. Be careful not to select one of the vertical faces, but that internal face. Click and make sure we're set over here as an offset. Um, and it is half of 370, so I can't do that in my head, so I'm gonna go 370 divided by two, press enter. Make sure the plane moves in this direction, in the direction of those rebates. If it's going the wrong way, click the arrow and it'll go the other way. We definitely don't want it behind there. And tick to complete. That's gonna become our mirror, that plane. So now we look for the mirror tool. There it is there. Uh, it wants to know what you wanna mirror, so it's a part that we want to mirror so simply click on the part you can either click here or down in the parts list either will select it now it wants to know the mirror plane that's why it's red so we click where it says mirror plane then click on that little plane that we made there plane one and there you go it mirrored our legs so we've got two legs tick i would suggest rename these um, I'll call it front leg one and this will be oh my goodness, uh, front leg two. All good. There we go. That's uh, that's it for this video. Uh, we'll see you in the next video. We'll draw the steps.